So listen, y'all, we're going to get straight into this video. How y'all doing today? I just want to ask y'all, how are you doing today? In the comments, y'all let me know how y'all doing. I see some of the comments where y'all be asking me how I'm doing. You hope all is well. Y'all praying for me. I want to ask y'all today, how y'all doing today? Welcome to all of you who are new to the channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I pray that God bless you through every word that's been spoken out of my mouth because it's not me, it's the Holy Spirit. I pray that you are leveling up in this season and that nobody can stop you because ain't nobody mad about your leveling up, but who? The devil. So let's get straight into this this word y'all people don't dislike you because of you they don't dislike you because of the way you look they don't dislike you because of these things listen they said they dislike you because of the way that your spirit shows up the way that god shows up through you they hate the fact that you are spiritually wealthy i told y'all two videos three videos ago that you are spiritually wealthy they hate that for you they hate it for you so every time you come around, anytime you talk about it, anytime you show up, they hate the fact that you are carrying such a light. You did nothing wrong. These people that keep running off from you, these people that can't love you, these people that sitting up talking about you, these people that sitting up competing with you, you didn't do nothing wrong, baby. You just showing up being who God has called you to be. And as long as you play it small, as long as you're mediocre, as long as you don't know who they are, everybody is fine with that. It's when you wake up and realize who you are. It's when you start walking in your authority. It's when you open your mouth and start truly believing that God has called you to do something bigger and better. That's what they have a problem with. That's what the devil don't like. That's why you like all these years I've been having this person in my corner. They've been talking to me. I thought they was my friend. I thought they was my boo, my bae. Now all of a sudden we can't get along. He always want to argue. She always want to fight. Now all of a sudden this friend that used to be my friend, they talking about me. They betraying me. They rolling their eyes. They doing this and that. Listen, baby, they were already holding this same jealousy, this envy, whatever it is in their heart. They already had it towards you. The thing is, we weren't aware of it. We didn't have the knowledge of it. They hid out in our corner for years being snakes and fakes. But the moment your light got turned on, God started exposing this stuff around you, exposing the snakes around you. Let me tell you something. Darkness cannot stand against light. Darkness cannot stand against light. They hate that you carry the light. They hate that you now know the truth. They hate that you are walking in your authority. They hate that you keep leveling up in the spirit realm. They hate that for you. It's not just you and your whole appearance and you just being this person and that person. No, sir, no, ma'am. This thing is a spiritual battle. They hate that you are leveling up spiritually. And sometimes we get so worked up and we start feeling like, God, why me? I know good and well you didn't let me stand in front of this church and say I do. And now all of a sudden I'm getting divorced. You let my friends and families, the same ones that showed up to the wedding, the same ones watching me get a divorce. I know, God, you cannot be calling me to do better, be better, calling me to higher heights than you. And yet every day I'm showing up with this sickness upon my body. People watching me as I look like I'm dwindling away. This can't be you. I know, God, you did not uproot me from my stability and now put me in uncertainty where I don't even know where the next meal coming from. I don't know how the bill's going to be paid. Yet you're saying I'm chosen. Is this really you? The whole time God is strengthening you and leveling you up and people see that. The very ones that's watching you, the very ones that he's put an audience out to watch you as you do this thing, they are the ones who see the growth. They see the leveling up and they will continue to try to stop you and come against you because they mad that it's you. The devil is mad that you have woke up to your true potential, your true calling, your anointing. These people not coming against you for no reason. There's something that you're carrying that the devil desires to steal, to kill, and destroy. There's something that you're carrying. It's valuable to God and it's also valuable to the devil. If he can take it, he will love that for himself. But not on today. Not today. Listen, baby. You are walking in such an authority that you probably have no clue about. And God is going to continue to reveal and elevate you in this season. 
as you drop the dead weight, as you move forward, as you start realizing who you truly are, as your authority, your strength, your wisdom, your clarity in him, as those things start elevating and being strengthened, you are really going to tap into something that you had no clue of. No clue. This is a new day. It's a new day. It's a new sheriff in town and that's you. They hate that you have woke up now to your true potential and that you know better. And so when you know better, you do better. They hate that for you. They hate that for you. But ain't nothing they can do about it. Nothing they can do about it because God has already predestined this thing. God has already called you. God has already blessed you. So when God blesses you, no man can curse you. When God opens that door, no man can close that door. Baby, it's already for you. It's already been predestined. There ain't nothing they can do about it. Nothing. Walk in your authority. Walk in your power. Continue to level up, y'all. Continue to level up. They hate the fact that you now know who you are. The devil himself hate the fact that you now know who you are. I want to share this real, real quick. I'm going to talk about me and in hopes that, you know, that deliver and help somebody else. When I moved here into L.A., those of you that don't know that's new to the channel, I have stepped out on faith. I'm now in L.A. And I keep saying that, I, you know, I tr I'm transitioning because I don't have... I don't have a stable home. I don't have my vehicle here. I don't have any family, friends, none of that. So every day I get up, it's a spiritual walk. It's a faith walk every single day. And so when I got here, and even now, when I lay and I try to pray and all of those things, it's like the devil is tormenting my mind. I can, the moment I begin to pray, I start thinking about all the things that I need to do, all the things that may happen, all these things. But yesterday, as I begin to pray, Every time I would close my eyes and begin to pray, I saw myself dancing. I saw myself dancing every single time. And I'm like, Lord, this is new. What is this about? He said, this season, you're going to dance like David dance. You're going to dance like David dance. People looked at David and they thought he had lost his mind. They thought he had lost his mind. He didn't care what anybody else had to say, what anybody else had going on. He was dancing. God told me, you are dancing on the ashes. That which was, you're dancing on top of that. What they spoke over your life, you're dancing on top of that. That sickness, that illness, you're dancing on top of that. That heartbreak, that depression, that anxiety, you are going to be dancing on top of that. Regardless of what it looks like around you. And some people may stand in the corner. They may clap for you. Some people may stand in the corner. They may spectate. Some people may stand in the corner. And they sit and talk about you. But listen baby. It don't even matter. Because you're going to continue to dance. Like David dance. Listen. These people that has been coming against you. Is not just because it's just you. It's not even them. We see them in the physical realm, but it's a spiritual battle towards you. It's a spiritual battle to keep you stagnant, keep you from moving forward, keep you from elevating in the spirit realm. Because you are chosen, because you are spiritually wealthy, the devil wants to kill, steal, and destroy that very thing that's been placed over your life and in your spirit and on your heart and all of your gifts and talents he desires to steal, kill, destroy your assignment, your calling. So when we see these people coming against us, it's not them. It's the spirit that's within them. It's the devil himself using these people. And the only way they can be used is if their heart is already wrong, already carrying bitterness, already have the ugliness. That's the only way the devil can use somebody. He cannot use a person that has a pure heart. I was telling somebody else this in the comments yesterday. The only way the enemy can come in and break through someone is if they already are carrying a trait and ugliness about themselves. And he just go in and he heightens that thing. He heightens it. He have a field day. Any little crack to get in and come against you. Come against you. 
So that's why it's important that we don't sit up and battle with these people, go back and forth, doing tit for tat, fighting with them in the flesh because it's not about that. It's all a spiritual battle. But one thing for sure, baby, you have the power, you have the authority, you have dominion. You can walk upon this earth and you can speak, you can pray, and God will hear you. He will answer you. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Thank you to all of you that's donating Listen, your little means a whole lot to me. Your little means a whole lot to me. Thank you for all of you that's in the comments, that's been showing love, that's been encouraging me. I pray for y'all. I pray that your spirit, your spirit be encouraged and uplifted and motivated and that God continues to reveal himself to you. I love y'all so much. I do. Until next time, y'all be easy.